Yo, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? If you want to learn how to score banging free kicks like this one, then stay right here because I'm going to be walking you through it step by step and teaching you how to do it. Let's go. How's it going, guys? Welcome back to another tutorial Tuesday video on the channel. If you're new around here, I try to drop one of these tutorials or walkthroughs just about every Tuesday. I have a whole playlist of them on my channel, so go check out my FIFA tips and tricks playlist if you have not already. Today, we're going to be going over how to score free kicks. And I know what you're thinking. Again? Yeah, again. So literally the day after I made my last free kick tutorial video, I became aware of this method, and I think personally it might even be better than the last one. So I had to make another video for you guys, walking you through this new method step by step. Enough of all that though, let's learn how to score some bangers. This free kick method might honestly be the simplest one out there, and it might even be the most effective. There's literally only three steps, and none of them involve anything difficult, like any type of curve or anything crazy like that. This method is most effective when you're within about 25 yards, I would say. So that range between 18 yards, 25 yards is when this is the most effective because your goal here is to essentially use your shot power to blow up by the keeper. And obviously the further away from goal you are, the more time the keeper has to react. So the shorter distance, this works a lot better in. With that said, the players you would like to use in this scenario are players with high shot power and high free kick accuracy. Uh, unlike the last method, curve isn't nearly as important in this one. Your main concern is hitting the shot as hard as you can and placing it right in the top corner. After you select your player with high shot power and high free kick accuracy, what you want to do is aim to the side of the keeper opposite the wall. So if the wall's on the right side, you want to aim to the keeper's left. If the wall's on the left side, you want to aim to the keeper's right. Step one is to aim it about halfway up the goal. You want to aim it right kind of in between the keeper and the post. You want to try to get it as close to the side netting as possible. And you want to find that sweet spot that's between about a quarter of the way up the goal and about halfway up the goal. The reasoning for this is because when you do this shot, the ball rises. So when you aim about halfway up the goal, it's going to rise right into the top corner. Once you have your placement down, you want to shoot it. So what you want to do is you want to hold LB. Holding LB makes your guy shoot the ball a lot harder. And it gives you that rising action, which gets the ball to the top corner. And you want to typically get it between two and a half to three bars of power. So when shooting it, you're holding LB and you're holding the shoot button until you get between two and a half, three bars of power. After you do that, what you want to do is try to green time it. It's not absolutely necessary, but green timing it gives it the best chance of going in. If you're not familiar with what that means to green time it, let me know in the comments. I'll, I'll drop another video on it uh, if you're not sure about it. It's essentially just timing your shot perfectly when you do it. It get, gets maximum accuracy and maximum power on the shot, so it increases your chances of going in. And after that, you just watch it fly in the top corner. That is literally it. Three simple steps. This is honestly probably the easiest free kick method out there. And I've started using this a lot over the past week, and it is one of the most effective. So don't get caught up in those fancy free kicks, those fancy run-ups, the fancy curve, all that stuff. Don't waste your time to, with it. Often, simplest is best, and that is definitely the case in this scenario. As always, make sure you practice this either in kickoff, uh, rivals, or even uh, in the practice arena before hopping into a competitive mode like foot champs because you're never going to be perfect at anything the first time you do it. So make sure you practice it beforehand before heading into a competitive setting. If you are unaware of this method and this helps you out, please just drop a like down below. I greatly appreciate it. That's literally all for this video. It, it, I kept it as simple as possible. I'm, I'm not lying when I tell you this free kick myth method is really easy to do. So I hope this helped you guys out and I look forward to you guys scoring more bangers and scoring more free kicks in the future. As always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Adios.